Do you want to have provably stable, secure, unhackable, et cetera, software? So you can write math proofs about software and say this code, not only does it pass these unit tests, but I can mathematically prove that there's no way to hack it in these ways or no way to mess with the memory or this type of things that hackers use, um, or it has these properties. It can use the same lean and same proof to do formally verified software. And I think that's gonna be a really powerful piece of cybersecurity um, that's relevant for all sorts of other AI hacking the world stuff. And that, yeah, if you can prove a Riemann hypothesis, you're also gonna be able to, to prove insanely complex things about very complex software. And then you'll be able to have to ask the LLM, synthesize me a software that is, uh, I can prove is correct, right? Why, why hasn't provable um, programming language taken off as a result of LLMs? You, you would think that this I think would... it's starting to. Okay. Yeah, I think it's starting to. I think that one, one challenge, and we are actually incubating a potential focused research organization on this, is the specification problem. So mathematicians are kind of know what interesting theorems they want to formalize. Um, if I have like some code, let's say I have some code that like is used, involved in running the power grid or something right. and it has some security properties, well, what is the formal spec of yeah. those properties? The, the power grid engineers just made this thing, but they don't necessarily know how to lift the formal spec from yeah. that. And it's not necessarily easy to come up with the spec that is the spec that you want for your code. People aren't used to coming up with formal specs and there's not a lot of tools for it.